Okay, I'm going to attempt to uh, show you this still in operation here without burning myself. But as you can see, all of the uh, water condensating inside of the unit. It uh, runs down in through the perforations into our collection pan. And you run this thing at a very low temperature. You can see the setting here is really low. You want it to where there's just barely a small amount of steam coming out the vent hole here. And possibly, you know, you're going to have a little leakage around the edges. But if you turn this too high, then you will end up uh, losing a lot of your water you're trying to convert convert back to distilled water because you'll blow out around the seals here if you run it too hard. So initially get your water boiling and then turn it down to a really low setting and adjust it you know to where it's just barely coming out the uh, hole here as you can see. If you can see the water the steam doing its thing here it's going back to uh, condensing on the surfaces here without any external cooling, just the air cooling. And you get that effect by not running too much heat here. It'll get a cooler temperature here and then condense down to a uh, temperature that will turn it back to a water. I'm gonna attempt to lift this off here and show you. You can see the water dripping off here and it's starting to collect in the collection pan. And be careful obviously doing this because it is hot even though it's on a low temperature and then our, our water level down here is maintaining itself and slowly boiling off and converting into the steam coming up through the unit just like it's supposed to and you'll have some most wonderful safe good tasting water to drink